Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a what's in my bag. I love making these types of videos. It is now officially summer, so I thought why not do a new what's in my bag summer edition video featuring my new Angela Roy bag the micro share totes I am in love with this bag you guys are going to gasp when you see how cute this a little tiny bag is it's one of her newest releases I know that many of you who watch this video will be fans of Angela Roy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this video into two parts the first half of the video will be like your traditional what's in my bag those are my favorite and then the second half will be a more detailed review of the handbag itself. I will also be comparing it to the share mini tote that I have. So without further ado, let's just get started. Guys, look how cute this bag is. How adorable is this bag for freaking summer? It is a small size bag, but I was surprised of how much it actually fits in here. I think it's because of how it was made structurally. Is that what I'm trying to say? I think that's what I'm trying to say but I was actually surprised of how much it actually fits so the first thing that I have in my bag is obviously my iPhone I don't leave my house without this this is the iPhone 11 max oh my god the iPhone name is so long I think this is the iPhone 11 Pro max and it fits perfectly in my bag with so much space left it is very similar in size to the bag itself but since the phone is so thin it really does not take that much space I'm really glad that I was able to fit my big ass iPhone inside this tiny bag because that would have definitely been a deal breaker for me I need a bag that can at least fit my iPhone that's essential and then the next thing that I have in my bag is obviously my mask. Can't leave the house nowadays without your mask, so have that in there. I actually got that from Etsy. If you're looking for a good reusable mask, I'll have it linked below. It was super affordable. The third thing that I have in my bag is this Milani hand sanitizer. This is their rose hand sanitizer. It's vegan and it's cruelty free. What I really like about this is that it's very moisturizing. You know when you use regular hand sanitizer, it makes your hands really dry especially if you're using it constantly so I really like that this kills germs but it's also very moisturizing to your hands I actually got this from Amazon I bought two for like $13 I think so it's really affordable and I like it also it's rose scented you can't go wrong with the rose scent I love it it's so good and then the next thing I have in my bag is a little hair tie, especially in the summer. Sometimes I can't be bothered with having my hair down. I'll put it up in a top knot bun and call it a day. So I always carry a little scrunchie. I got that one from Amazon. I'll have everything linked below. If you see anything that you want to snack for yourself, I'll have all the links down below. And then I have my keys can't leave the house without those or else I'll be locked out and then what else do I have in here I also have a pair of sunglasses can't leave my house without sunglasses especially in the summer the sun is too damn bright I need to protect my little eyeballs and I actually just keep the sunglasses thrown in here without its case you can definitely fit a pair of sunglasses with the case in here but it's going to take up a bunch of unnecessary room in my opinion unless you're the type of girl that just wants to carry like your keys your wallet and sunglasses and that's perfect but I need other things as you guys are seeing <laughs> And then I also have some hand lotion. This is the Be Kind hand lotion and it's rose scented. I actually got this in my PT Board Beauty Box and I have been using it non-stop. I really like this. It's very moisturizing and very nourishing so I highly recommend. It smells divine. Again, I love rose scented everything. I'm going to put some right now. Love it. It's nice and thick too which I really like. I feel like every time I do one of these what's in my bag videos, I always have like a new hand lotion. And the reason is because of the PT Vore Beauty Box subscription, they're always including like different hand lotions. So I never have to buy hand lotion. I always just use what they send me, which is really convenient. Next thing I have in my bag are obviously my AirPods. Love these. And then I also have a little sun bum 
sunscreen. I like to carry this especially in the summer because sometimes I do forget to apply sunscreen so that way if I remember while I'm on the go I can just apply some really quickly. It's a travel size. It's vegan. Why is this not focusing? It's vegan and it's cruelty free and I really like it. It doesn't leave like that white residue which other sunscreens do and I'm not here for that. So I like this one. And I also have two lip glosses. Well, actually I have one lip gloss and one lipstick. The first lip gloss is the e.l.f. Limp Plumping Gloss. This is in Mocha Twist. If you watch any of my videos, you know that this is my all-time favorite lip gloss. I always wear it. I'm wearing it right now. And I always carry it with me. I have like five of these laying around. This one is super affordable and it's so good. It's literally my favorite ever. So highly recommend that one if you want a good like nude type lip gloss and then i also got this lipstick which is the blushing brown from elf i got this for free because i think i think they were having a promotion of when you spend a certain amount you are able to pick a free item so i picked this one and i actually really love the nude color on this i think it's so freaking cute i don't wear lipstick all that much i'm really a lip gloss kind of gal but I thought the color was so pretty and I carry it with me to force me to use it more because it is a really pretty nude shade. So I really like that one. And then I also have a little perfume. This is the Inkling Scents Perfume. I'm horrible at showing you guys this, this stuff. I really love this. This is another Pixie Vore Beauty Box item. It smells so freaking good you guys. It's literally one of my favorite scents, all time favorite scents, just because it's strong but also very feminine at the same time and I love it. If you watch any of my other What's In My Bag videos, you know that I love this wallet. I've had it for over a year. This is like my go-to wallet to have four small bags just because it's so compact and I can fit the majority of my credit cards in here. I also like that it came with a little credit card size mirror. That way I don't have to carry an additional mirror and I can just keep that inside my wallet. You guys know that I've had this for over a year and like the stitching is in perfect condition and I'm not one to like take care of my wallets or anything like that. They obviously get thrown around so much but the stitching is literally perfection and nothing's coming undone this kind of reminds me of like the gucci wallets but obviously this is vegan and it's cruelty free because we don't do leather on this channel so really like it and then the last thing i have are just very random <laughs> flaw sachets these are in the cranberry flavor and i just like to carry these around because you know when you're out for lunch or out for dinner sometimes food gets stuck in your teeth and you need to floss it on the spot so these are very handy i don't want to walk around with food in my mouth who does so that is everything that i carry in my bag and let's just dive into all the details this is the micro share totes it is it is exactly like the other share totes in the collection but the smallest version yet so this is actually the mini share totes this is my first ever angelo roy bag and i'm obsessed with it so when i saw that angelo roy came out with the micro version i was like i need this in freaking black it is so freaking adorable it is smaller obviously than the mini tote but honestly i think it's like the perfect counterpart for it because even though it's fairly small it still fits a good amount it's the exact same structure so the uh, mini share tote has three compartments and the middle compartment is zipped so which i really like the same thing for the mini one you have two open compartments and then the third compartment is just one with a zipper so that is where i typically keep my wallet the main differences would be the actual hardware of the bag as you guys can see the hardware for this bag is a very pretty silver gunmetal material and the little legs on the bottom are the same shade and Angela Roy has been adding this little red signet to all of her bags it basically just her initials everything else pretty much stayed the same her little 
logo right here, the Angelo Roy name, which I really like because it's minimalistic and it's not like splattered everywhere in the bag. I really like that. That is probably the main difference because her other bags have this gold antique hardware, which honestly, it's perfect for this color bag. I really like how this metal color looks with the black. I think it's so cute. It still has the clasps in the middle so you can clasp your bag shut which I really like and it's still that really nice pebbled vegan leather that feels like legit leather I freaking love it it feels so soft the shoulder strap is removable and adjustable one thing to know is that on her website there's pictures of this bag with the metal shoulder strap and I thought that it came with the bag obviously because there's pictures with it and it doesn't. I was a little disappointed to see that it didn't come with the bag. But you can purchase the metal shoulder strap separately. I think it's about $55 on her website. I honestly don't know if I'm going to end up purchasing that. It will look really cute with this bag. But $55 for a shoulder strap? I don't know. Maybe I will because I really did like the look of it on the website. Um, but well, we shall see. If I do end up purchasing it, I will update you guys. Overall, 10 out of 10. I'm really happy with my latest purchase from Angela Roy. She always kills it. I'm really excited to see what the future holds for this brand. I really hope that she branches out and creates new designs because I really am wanting something new, something refreshing that we haven't seen from her yet. So I'm really hoping. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. What's in my bag featuring my new Angela Roy baby. I freaking love this brand. I can't say it enough. Highly recommend for you guys to check it out if you're interested in good quality vegan leather bags. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!